shows you how to download ISIN codes from Econ for a defined um, population. So let's assume for this example, we want to download the ISIN from Econ for companies that are perhaps maybe um, incorporated in the United Kingdom or maybe have headquarters in the United Kingdom. Okay, for illustrate illustration purposes, well, let's choose um, have uh, incorporated in the United Kingdom. So load Econ as usual um, and then click here, go to screener. Um, so wait for you to load. Okay, so for our illustration, we need UK data. It doesn't matter anyway because um, we're not going to be downloading any financial information, but it's always worth just specifying GPP so that you don't forget. Um, also, you need to be working in public companies because what we want really is listed companies. If you want to include private companies as well, then you select private companies. Okay, so the universe we want is public companies. Then um, we come here and apply. So we did say incorporated in the United Kingdom. So you add this and then specify United Kingdom. Kingdom. Okay, and then click on done. So this might take a while to load. Okay, now add your icing and any other fields that you you want. So we pick icing code. If you decide you want QCIP as well, you can add QCIP. QCIP is another identifier. Um, if you want, um, just call, just name it. Um, let's say the ticker. Not Bloomberg ticker. Um, so let's go. Um, well, anyway, so let's go exchange ticket. Okay, and then very importantly, as I always uh, suggest, um, we go um, the org PAM ID. And the reason that this is important is that typically I use this, particularly um, when dealing with data that has corporate actions involved, um, because what traders have done is this code remains the same regardless whereas when you have icing code icing code will change if for instance the company is acquired but then the organization id will remain the same hope you found this helpful thank you for listening